the pre-match chatter about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Just one away from equaling the Premier League goal-scoring record. Can he do it today on EA TV? A splendid day for football here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Leicester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Saka, number five, Thomas Partey. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. Number 19, Nicolas Pepe. Number nine, Alexandra Lacazette. And number 14, and so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Wilfred and Didi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Jamie Vardy. Thank you, Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. Potentially one to Sabre. Arsenal get this game underway. Well, let's see about the cross. And that goes down as an effort that he's not going to be remembering fondly. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Well, you have to think, Stuart. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make the difference here. Well, I think he's in the form of his life at the moment. He just seems to be playing with so much confidence. Can he equal that record today? I'd like to think so. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no end product. Arsenal really hit most of the right notes in the win against Watford. How might this play out, Stuart? Well, their 2-0 win was an excellent all-round display, particularly the way they won the ball back. Today, however, they may not enjoy quite as much of the ball, and therefore a draw looks the most likely outcome. Good bit of pressing. Can't miss, surely! And quite simply, wide of the target. Ndidi. Well, they get the ball once more. He takes aim. Well, it might still work out for them. And in the end, no damage done. Could play it in. Turning inside, where's he going to go? And pushed onto the woodwork. And a goal it is! But in all honesty, the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Goal for 
And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. Harvey Barnes. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Partey. Onto Obama Yang. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Indeedy. A Jose Perez. Obama Young. Pepe. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. James Madison. Harvey Barnes. Barney! And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So, underway again, following the goal that made things level. Obama Yang, very quick thinking there. Well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Oh, good strike! Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Possession lost. He made it look simple, really. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Bertrand. Madison. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Oh, fancy footwork. Terrific block. He's got to score! Oh, fine stop. Nicolas Pepe. Oh, terrific pass. He's just got to continue his run. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Parte. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Bardi. And now Ryan Bertrand. Good tackle, take it away. Just not looking confident in possession. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Pepe. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Now, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. 
Well, some referees might have been tempted to show him a second yellow, Stuart. Well, he has to be more clever than that. He can't commit another foul. Did well to win the ball back. Couldn't hang on to it. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Aston Villa. And continues his run. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Vardy. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. It's opening up for them. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Not the worst free kick in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. Ndidi. Here's Tielemans. Well, he likes to run at them. And let's give credit to the defending. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Leicester City facing Brentford. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Could be! It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that! On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. An effective challenge. Applying vigorous pressure. Lacazette. Now Aubameyang in with a chance. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. There could be consequences, given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier. And off he must go after that second yellow card, Stuart. Well, he really has let his teammates down. He had to be more sensible there. Ndidi. Vardy. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. Firing it in. Well, flinging himself at it. Playing it short. Perez. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. But I'm hearing something important has happened in the Palace game. Let's find out what from Alex. It's a goal for Palace. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They are losing 3-1 with 76 minutes play. Alex with the info as ever. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, these Arsenal fans can sense an equaliser here. Can the players respond and get it? Able to get a body in the way. And Lacazette. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And they are committed to making the substitution here. Just couldn't capitalise there. Takes the shot. 
And he smacks it against the crossbar. Well, I thought that was in, Derek. He struck it so sweetly. Plenty of power. Can't come much closer than that. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Calder Sainci. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, this game is ebbing away, and Arsenal have still got a lot on their plate. Well, what a finale this will be. They've had so many chances throughout the game, but they just need to find a composed finish in the dying moments. They've certainly deserved something from this game, but time is running out. Ndidi. And a long way out here. Really good diving save. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Struggling to get it away. No way through. It's opening up for them. Or covering up defensively. And the danger is averted. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Oh, fancy footwork. Pepe. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now, and surely the goal will come. Ndidi. Jamie Vardy now. Playing with purpose and control able to get a body in the way the final whistle and the gunners go down This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five, but I think the wing backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. And they... Kick off here. Throw into Arsenal coming up. 
So two substitutes to come on in one go. A chance to whip it in. Decided to come in from the flank. Tavash. Superb block. Can't get the shot through. It is a decent looking attack here. And delivered into the box. And you need your defender to take charge. Lacazette! Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. And now the delivery. Cleared away. Partey. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, Arsenal certainly know how to put the ball in the back of the net. In fact, they are the highest-scoring team in the entire league, Stuart. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been inventive, it's been precise, and most importantly, it's been clinical. They really do play with such confidence when they break forward, which I'm sure we'll see again today. Tyrone Mings. Arsenal went down disappointingly in their last match. They lost against Leicester City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, it was tight, but the 3-2 defeat in front of their fans highlighted their problems. Today, they must show a more positive attitude, press the ball higher up the field and show some guile in attack. If they can do all those things... Well, you might say, taking everyone by surprise, he didn't miss by much. Well, this is all about his technique. The ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal. That's a really good effort. Oh, nice ball over the top. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Excellent defending. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Ings. And the emphasis is on creativity. And taken away. Party. Spot on with that tackle. He'll have a go here. Oh, and it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate! Well, here it is again, and just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. Now the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Well, beating his opponent. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. Sanson. Ollie Watkins. Ings. Now they've lost it. Nicola Pepe takes on the shot. Oh, a good diving save. Playing it in and clears his lines. Partey has lost it. Pressing as a team. Takes the shot. 
and a crisp effort just over the top. Well, the half-time interval fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. And a good point, I think, Stuart, to get your critique of their performance so far. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. And an effective clearance. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Attending to his defensive chores. Gabriel. Alert defending. Watkins. Now can they create something? Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Ollie Watkins. Young and dispossessed. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Cross could be useful. Not really the ideal clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, the keeper should grab hold of it. Sanson. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Lokonga. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you oh, more Derek, action. This is a big moment here. Oh, that is a superb save. Over it comes, and punched away. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Well, he was closely marked, but the header well off target. And Lacazette, terrific save. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, great header, smart stop though. Have a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Sanson. Strong but fair tackle. Lokonga. The flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Crystal Palace. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming.
throw into Arsenal coming up. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and their passing patterns have created numerous chances. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Well read to ease the pressure. Ollie Watkins. 20 minutes to go in this one. Well, they've lost the ball. They've got it now, what can they do? And he takes on the shot and throwing himself up the ball. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. And there's the delivery. Well, he took care of it defensively. Another corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Trying to deliver it accurately. Defended well. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Thomas Partey on to Pepe Marcinelli he thwarted the attack illegally now perhaps a card is forthcoming well he's gone into the referee's notebook and he can't be surprised that was a poor challenge you have to say understandably he wanted to give it a go but straight at the keeper Ten minutes to go. Lacazette here. I'm showing good defensive judgment. Decent position. This could finish it. Terrific block there. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Tyrone Mings. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. A tremendous block. Low ball. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Using his physical strength to shield it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, these Villa fans can sense an equaliser coming here. Can the players respond, though? Sanson. perfect example of how to it so there goes the final whistle it ends in a victory for Arsenal maximum points for them what did you make it spot on with that tackle he'll have a go here oh and it goes sensational strike and now he deserves to celebrate Spot on with that tackle. He'll have a go here. Oh, and it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate!